join us on um, our road trip up into the Peak District today. I'm uh, I'm alone in the Austin, but uh, Liam's got a full house in his car, so he's got his wife, two kids, and a dog. So we're really going to be putting the moggy to the test today. Um, at the moment, we're travelling through uh, a lovely little village called Shenston. We're going to go up through Litchfield, um, and then from there, just take the uh, the scenic route, if you like, up through Abbots Bromley, go across the reservoir, and then head up into the peak. So, it should be a really nice journey. I'm really looking forward to it. So, I think we're about half an hour away now. But, um, absolutely beautiful. The scenery is incredible. Um, the cars are still performing well. It's really windy uh, now. We're up pretty high. Uh, we're on our way towards Buxton. Um, but you really feel it. And the poor old wipers, because I keep having to wipe the windscreen because of all the salt. Um, as they swish across, the wind sort of catches them and then it launches them. Um, so I'm just waiting for one to get flicked up and then I'll have to go and fetch it off the road, but fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning drive at the moment. So I'll uh, kick back some footage and I'll catch you in a bit.
So we've made it into the Peak District. We've just parked up to do some footage of the cars. Um, both cars have made it. No issues yet at all. Yet. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, it's a bit windy for the drone, so we we're going to put the drone up, but I don't think we're going to get that footage today, so we'll have to try another time. Just got a load of dirt bikes going by. It's typical, isn't it? We've not been a car on the road for the last 10 minutes. Then as soon as we pull a camera out, boom. Yeah. And as you can tell, it's windy. Look at my hair. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> anyway good trip out yeah loved it so um we'll have to get another one planned soon try and get the drone out as well yeah that is so tight <laughs> <laughs> So I thought, ah, oh, no worries, we'll go and uh, I'll check my sat nav. Found a shell on the way, thought, fine, we'll get there. A couple of roads have been closed on the way, and now we're going down dirt tracks, um, all sorts. I mean, stunning scenery, but uh, I get what it feels like to have an electric car now because the range anxiety is kicking in. The fuel gauge isn't particularly accurate. I mean, to be honest, it hardly ever works. Um, at the moment it actually seems to be working and it's saying just under a quarter of a tank whether we trust it or not is another thing um, but yeah this track we're going down at the moment it's like mud the majority of it big rut in the middle um, I'm using the sat nav ways normally it's brilliant uh, but in the classic <laughs> maybe not so good oh look at that view that might you might be able to see out the window it depends on the exposure that that's the lake over there i think i passed a minute ago to try and get another trip out maybe next time bring some jerry cans though i think we'll be all right just being dramatic right so you join me we just got fuel so that's a weight off my mind um it wasn't that bad actually so i put 16 liters in um which was as, as much as it could take uh, so that means i think this has got a 26 litre tank uh, off the top of my head it's in the 20s so we still had 10 litres left so it wasn't that bad so it shows how far out this um this fuel gauge is at the moment now it's reading full i said earlier that it doesn't work it, it's really odd it, it doesn't normally work at all and then today it's just started to kick in so um i thought i should probably trust it i'm still glad we got the fuel but we had to go quite far out of our way to get it uh, and it now means that I've got a nice little poodle back on the A38 rather than the country road so a bit of a shame but I'd rather have the fuel and know that we're not going to have to break down and stuff um, and it's looking like a little bit of drama at the end of the trip eh? so yeah that's about it I hope you've enjoyed the, um, the trip out today it's a shame we couldn't get some of the footage we wanted because of the weather but overall you know it's been fun it's been a great day out and I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as well when you see the footage so thanks for watching um, and please if you can subscribe to the channel it'll really help us out we're trying to grow the channel um, and we really want to do some big stuff in the future 